Hey people, hey my audience, hi all, hi all of you, how are you? I hope you're fine and I hope you're having a, or a good morning if you are in America or a good afternoon if you are in the Middle East. Today I we have a interesting project and interesting subject we're gonna talk about. Today we're gonna talk about the voiceover in English, the breathing, the um the vocal techniques and one w with one of the awesome and one of the best teachers in in the world mr collins Teke, uh, a great teacher i welcome collins you're with me on instagram so راح ارجع احكي بالعربي اللي مهتمين بالفويس اوفر باللغه العربيه ما في مشكله يكونوا معنا وعم بيسمعوا الفويس اوفر باللغه الانجليزيه ويكونوا عم بتابعوا اللقاء المميز هاي كولنز هاي توني جود تو سي يو هاو ار يو جود تو سي يو ويل يو ار ويلكم هير ماي بيج اون انستغرام I uh, introduce Mr. Collins one of the best vocal coaches and one of the best voice over coaches uh, he is like mr nasim mr nasim i used to do with him the vocal training but he gives right. the uh, the the content of a voice over now we are working with mr collins hala he will introduce himself as a vocal coach and a voice trainer and voice over trainer he has a lot of experience is amazing go ahead mr collins all right hi yes great fantastic Hi, everyone. Yes, great. Um, first of all, let me say hi to everyone. I wish I could speak some Arabic so I can say it in Arabic, you know. Um, fantastic. I am Colin Teke, and I'm a voiceover coach and a voiceover artist also. And um, I train voiceover talents in how they can improve the sound of their voice. And also I train them on how they can you know learn the dynamics of the voice of the industry and build a business for themselves so in the, in the industry there are different stages there is a stage 1 those who are just starting and uh, there are those who are in stage 2 who of course understand a, a few things about the voice over industry but are still finding it difficult to find their place and stage 3 are those who are right um have been trained they have a few knowledge they now want to set up their voice over business Now those yes. are the three categories of people that I train. I uh, personally um I'm a broadcast journalist in sub-Saharan Africa with over 15 years experience and also a voice of artist with over 13 years experience. I've trained over 2000 voice of talents from this side of oh. the world. I re yeah recently I just hosted um a voice of webinar just to teach people the art of voice over and I had over 2000 um registration but I needed to take just a few. So I, have, I had about 200 uh, people who actually participated live on YouTube. And I'm also the current award winner of the best voice of artist, uh, the, the National Broadcaster Merit Awards. Yeah, absolutely. So that's, that's a few things about me. But most importantly, I am very passionate about the voiceover industry. I'm passionate about every single person that has interest in the voice over industry so i bring my experience to bear when i teach i show you my little techniques from voice techniques to teaching you how you can deliver a script we'll talk about this right to now. teaching you how you can even absolutely yeah which is why we're here so uh, basically that's a few things about me tony if you would uh, um what allow me let me explain the topic for the people who maybe uh, they understand english or maybe not نحن عندنا ورشه بالتعليق لكن هيدي المره باللغه الاجنبيه الانجليزيه معنا مستر كولنز اللي هو راح يكون مدرب على اللغه الانجليزيه وهو عنده اكسبيرينس كثير كبيره باللغه الانجليزيه اما انا معي راح تكونوا عم تاخذوا تمرين البالون دو يو هاف اني نولج اباوت ذس 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 اكسرسايز I see you do a lot about that. Yeah. Is it, uh, is it for breath? Is it for breath? Uh, Let me... 
Is it for breath control? Yes, it is. Uh, as you all know, we have to breathe from our from our the lower part of our diaphragm Absolutely. this way. And uh, when I breathe this way, I have to exercise myself so to to be stronger. So that's why I do many exercises like uh, the balloon one. So uh, I strengthen my my uh, diaphragm, the muscle. Uh, I can do it easily, huh? And uh, we have a lot of uh, things. For example, mm -hmm. uh, we can do now a vocal exercise. For example, ma with with a good articulation and good resonance. Mm -hmm. We do the pencil mm -hmm. exercise, putting the pencil uh, on um, uh, in our mouth and to try to talk and articulate the best way, even though it is mm -hmm. dropped by the pencil. Um, That's what right. what we do? Mm -hmm. also, we take the tonalities. We we tell each, each student which tonality uh, we have and why we have to go high, why we have to go down. We will you will explain the text and how to go in a in a advertising way. So yeah. let's advertise the show and let's advertise that we have soon a project together. Go ahead. Yeah, that's right. That's 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 right, Tony. I mean, I'm always baffled by some of your amazing exercises. They're very practical. I'm also well done, Tony. Yes, we have a show. You know, Tony and I were friends, and um, um, we decided to come together uh, with uh, on the platform of MindShift to present to you, most of those who are watching right now, an opportunity to be a part of a voiceover training in English that you would learn a whole lot. From my experience, from his experience, we have a special package for you that you can take advantage of by registering and understanding. Now, um, I have, I, I'm, I'm loaded. I've packed a whole lot that I want to give out. And in, I mean, I can't wait to have everyone be a part of it. Now, apart from you learning how you can improve your sound, the sound of your voice, you would also be exposed to the different areas of voiceover you know people think voiceover is um just people take it to they just look at one area of voiceover maybe tvc tv commercials or maybe uh, radio ads and they think that's what voiceover is all about and voiceover is everywhere is found everywhere so at this training we'll be showing you the different areas we'll also show you and recommend areas that you can specialize in those areas are, as a person you or what area they want to specialize in maybe i want to specialize in documentaries i want to specialize in ivrs i want to specialize in tvcs that's tv commercials those all these different areas oh i want to specialize in audio books of i want to be a voice over announcer or a voice over a voice actor i want to go into the movie so i want to be a voice actor so we, we define each of these areas and show you how you can improve yourself in those areas. Most importantly, we'd also show you how you can position yourself as a voiceover artist in the world to be able to make money for yourself because it's a big industry that people are looking for more different voices in different languages, whether it's in Arabic, whether it's in English, whether it's in local dialects. You can use the same principles we teach you to apply on whatever language you use and that way you too can make a career, start a career as a voice of artist. And if you're already in the industry, we'll show you hacks that you can use to improve your voiceovers. So all these are packaged in this special event, which is coming up this July. And um, we'll give you more information about, if you want to register, of course you can check, there should be a link there, or follow MindShift, or follow yeah. Tony. Follow the number? Okay. Please, Allah, yeah. send us the number, please. So I just uh, copy paste it again. Yes. Tayyip, yeah, uh, Mr. Colin, uh, you're, a you're a radio presenter, right? Yes, I'm also a radio presenter. Yes, that's right. Can you show us some presenting, some vocal presenting, and uh, how it goes? Okay. We, we like to see this. Okay. All right, all right, good. I'm going to do something now. Luckily enough, that's why I stayed in the studio because I know you. You might just want yes. to ask me to do something live. <laughs> so um, let, me, let, me see if I, my, let me see if the mic is recording so that I can do something for for everyone. Um,
Just hold on. I'm trying to get my mic on. Hey, 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 hey. Hi. Okay. So, <clears throat> so I, I don't know. It depends on what you want me to do. The presentation, you know, um, I have a style of, I try to bring, here's my principle, right? I believe that if you are a presenter or voice of artist, you should always find a way of bringing your personality, you know, who you are from within, you know, bring it to the fore uh, when you do your presenting. So um, I, I try to apply that. But let's say I'm presenting, a, it depends on what I'm presenting. I'm doing uh, a hyper show, a show that is a magazine show that um, requires that you put variety and you also is lively. So I'm a lively presenter. So when I go on radio, this is how I sound on radio, you know. Hello, welcome to this wonderful time on radio. My name is Collins Decker, and I'm a radio presenter at Voice of Artists, and I've been doing this thing for so many years now. And sometimes I just ask myself, Collins, come on, when are you going to leave this job? I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not leaving this job because I love what I do. Every day, I would want to do this every day, every day, and every night. And that's why every time we come here to bring you informative, educative, and entertaining radio broadcast, just so you can enjoy the best of radio. Now, never stop, never stop listening to this. Or let's say I'm doing a voiceover now. Um, if it's a voiceover, I'm doing maybe uh, an announcement. Let's say, mm. let's think of something, telecommunications, right? Um, mobile yes. telecommunications. All right. Maybe yes. they have a promo. Let's paint a picture. Let's say they have a, a special package and they want to announce it. So it's going to be something like this. Enjoy unlimited talk time throughout from one number all day, all night. Simply dial star 563 star, the number of your choice and hash. You can chat for free all day, all night. It's all yours for only 250 naira monthly. Now, that's great value. Life is richer with whatever network you want to call it. That's what it would be. And, and that's it. So if I'm to do that, that's an exciting, that's a, t a radio commercial. And I mean, it's an exciting announcement, uh, right? But if I'm doing a documentary, hmm, let's say I'm doing a documentary. It's different. Yeah, documentary. Show us the documentary. It's, it's a different principle. All right. In 1945, most of the world did not know but radio would be one of the major things to look at. What do you know about life? Have you heard about the problem that is happening in the Middle East? What do you have to say about it? I'm wow. trying to say this from my head. That's because I don't have a script with me. But I'm trying to let you know how you put your tone when you are voicing a documentary. In 1922, the first man to come on Earth came from wherever. Guys, don't mind what I'm saying. I'm just making, trying to give you the tone. So you see yes. that's the tonality. And there's also yeah. pause. Strategic pause, pause. Let, pause. Me stop. Let me stop. Let me explain a bit in Arabic for the people. I'm be Gina Collins. The difference between the information, between the advice, and maybe I'll talk about IVR, the early call. I'm telling you that the advice is not done only when we read news and the end. And I'm from here. I'm going to learn to use the sound and vocals and the sound of the right sound. I'm telling them also that we will do some warm-up exercises, for example, yeah. the lips exercises. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. Yeah, your yeah. tongue. As a voiceover, you must always exercise before you go on the air. And um, yeah. You should, yeah, one of them, exercise your mouth. You know, I do it. And also, yes. Wagu. Like, uh, like, in, like having a, a chewing gum in my mouth. Fantastic. Another exercise is put something to distort your tongue and read the script. Put something to stop you from sounding like and read the script like that. And then after I remove yeah, like it. Yeah, the pencil. Yes. The like pencil, the pencil. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. So you remove it and then read. It's going to give you um, that fluidity. Fluidity. To be able to flow with the script and not get uh, distorted and get distracted or uh, get stopped. Yes, someone is asking that. What about audiobooks? Yes, audiobooks too. That's a major area of voiceover. I just need to... I see. I just saw a comment there. Yeah, it's uh, audiobooks... Uh, uh, educational announcements, um, IVRs. The number you're calling is not reachable at the moment. Please try again later. You know, uh, that, that yeah, you, have, you have such a beautiful voice. 
You have such a beautiful voice. I'm so interested uh, myself in taking a class with you. You, <laughs> you just, you're so talented. You're so talented. Uh, we'll do some, uh, we'll do the scale like do, re, mi, fa. By the way, do you have a beautiful voice? Do, do, re, re, re mi, mi, fa. and we'll, we 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 repeat again we will do the okay all right the balloon the balloon exercise which is important uh, also we have like the, the the let's say the shisha exercise you know about yes. this you put a bottle of water and you you pick the um the straw you put a straw inside and you try to blow in like yeah same system and you you blow you yeah. uh, you from your stomach or from the diaphragmatic uh part mm -hmm. and it's good sometimes to warm up in, like this you do the warm up with with a straw yeah. and it's all about the breathing and how you yeah. uh, blow your breath, uh, breath out so yes. it doesn't blow away you know because having a good breathing it makes yeah. a good resonance a good voice and a good uh, good things plus a good posture so i need a good posture plus i need plus yeah. i need resonance good technique mm -hmm. vocals good tonality good rhythm good volume. so when i go if, uh, high, loud when I go, soft when I go, mm -hmm. fast when I go, slow, and when yeah. I stop, all this, right? That's, that's, that's very necessary. You know, the breath control is very, very important, even in the voiceover. You should know when to breathe. You can't just be breathing every, after every line. If you have a script, you don't, you don't go ahead and start breathing, um, I, um, just like that. You should control your breath, and that's why interpreting the script and marking the script is very important and um you know it's called word grouping word grouping mm. words grouping you group the words how you're going to read them and put a mark so that you know where to take a breath or a breather exactly i know it's not to take a pause there are times you put a second pause two seconds pause five seconds pause depending on how you know and your breath control would also determine how well you do what we call signposting, signposting. Now, signposting is telling the listener that there's a full stop, there's a comma, there's a new paragraph without telling them that another paragraph is the way you control your breath and uh, the marking of your delivery will tell them. For example, if I'm reading something now and it's a full stop, I give it a tone, what I call a tone of finality a tone of finality. So when you listen to me and then you know that that's the end. So it doesn't make sense if I give you a tone of finality in the middle of the script when I'm not at the end of the script. So all these things must be understood if you're voicing a script. And these are techniques that we'll be teaching you at the training and how you can achieve them. And if you're not registered yet, make sure you're registering. We have to tell them also that they have to know that having a music in the advertisement or in the documentary, it, maybe it makes a sense more, or maybe they Fun. change the yes. tune how to read or the, how they go. خلينا نشرح بالعربي يعني نحكي عن الآلب لما نقرأ بال بالنص الميوزك اللي بتتغير وبتتغير فاعل ان طريقه الحكي وطريقه تطليع الصوت وكنا عم نقول انه الصوت مهم برنه الصوت بالالقاء بوقفه الجسم الصحيحه بالتنفس الصحيح باختيار الطبقه الصحيحه وبقوه الصوت هدول الست نقاط اساسيه آه نحن بنرجع ندعيكم ل اوفر بالانجلش اذا انتم بهمكم الارقام مكتوبه تحت على شركه مايند شيفت 971-582-5375-86 انا ومستر كولنز عم نعمل هيدي الورشه مع مايند شيفت فيكم تتصلوا فينا وحتى انا فيكم تبعتوا لي رسائل لالي او مستر كولنز اذا بدكم تسالوا اي سؤال. There are many people interested so I'm telling them if they are interested in the voice over technique in English 
they learn the the voice and the voice technique and warm up and breathing with me and the voice yes. over tip with you and they can call shift on the number plus dubai 00715825375 86 I have a question if yeah. I'm new to the book of voice over yeah I'm new I'm fresh at you yeah. give me some tips to improve points only points points to improve points. My, all right improve my way my reading my commercials blah 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 you know um just like every other um industry there are things that are standard you should know all right one of them is at least know what a voice over is know the different types of voice overs all right know all of them and try to try to at least identify if not knowing the details but just know that there's this type there's this type there's this type when you have that it helps you to also better understand how to start you now start looking at how do you improve on each of those areas all right and then understand that um voice over is bringing a script to life all right so you're bringing a script to life So something is dead, you want to bring it to life. When something is dead, you want to bring it to life. It's a big deal. So it's a big deal. So doing that requires some techniques, and one of them is your ability to put yourself in the script. So how do you do it? You identify what the mind of the writer is. What are they trying to say? Who are they talking to? All right. Mm -hmm. Who are they talking to? So that's just general for someone who wants a voice. But if you want to start the industry, I just starting in the industry. Um, I would first of all tell you something you should do: invest in a small, if no matter how small the equipment is, invest in a recording gadget, whether it's a mobile phone or whatever. Your number one tip for a beginner is record yourself. Oh. Keep recording yourself and listen back. All right. All right. You will need yes. a coach to to guide you. but record yourself very important always record back and listen back you know what okay beginner art art asked you okay art art asked you how to write a script for voice over okay how to write a script yeah i mean you have to um the first thing is not not everyone has the ability to write scripts you have to train yourself sure. to write scripts and the only way to write is to start writing now this is how you write You look at this mouse. This this is a mouse, all right? Or uh let's say this this is a headset. You look at it. Okay, ask yourself, if I want to write um uh, about this headset, what do I want to say about it? Do I want to tell people that is the best headset in the world? Do I want to tell them that oh, the headset is um it, it works better. So you identify what you want to say about what you want to write about and then start putting the words together. So what's the best way to say it? Do I go about and say go and buy this headset is a good one or do I say have you ever wondered where you can get the best of quality headsets or do you even know which mm-hmm. headset is good? You could be a question you could ask start by asking questions of what people you think want to know and then you put the words together and then you review it try to try to have an end goal try to have in mind who you're targeting who do you want to write to All right. So when you have all these things, I know who I want to write to. I want to talk to Tony. Tony is a a vocal coach. So what do I tell Tony? That is it's it's reasonable. So when you know your audience, you know what you want to sell, then you know what you start writing based on what you think the audience yeah. needs. Yeah. So you write in a script based on the objective of of uh, what the story, what it, what it, whatever it is that you want to tell. as it were so that's the number one tip it starts from there and we then can you put words you put yeah words. we can tell our art that he can call us and register in the talk in the in the workshop uh, mm-hmm. i i add to your uh, things a big value you gave us a big value but i add the the timing how many ta- how, what is the time that i have to do the script and okay. uh, yeah. and, and in the in the script uh, i should consider everything when where um, how the oh, the whole info we we yeah. say in arabic we have the five the five w when yeah. where by whom and uh, yes yani yeah. the, yes I, the, that, i have that's... to tell what, what it is about the um, the, the, the full explanation yeah that's right so when you're writing a script you should not leave any ambiguity 
what is called ambiguity, mm. like what someone will listen and say, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Or um, where are you going? Let it be clear, as clear as possible. And um, if you want to be creative, don't be creative to lose the source of the, the information. So like you said, all those things you need to answer when, where, why, the information. So um, in every script, if you determine what you want to use it for, you now tell them why you, this why you, this story, why you're writing this, all right? Um, who you're writing it for, who are you writing for? Yes, you know, exactly. You answer that question. Where do you get information, you know, more information about what the script is saying? Because the truth is, Every voiceover production you do, whether it's, uh, for example, a TV commercial, for example, there's a limited time, time frame that the script should be. So in most cases, exactly. they, always, they always lead you to an external link that you get more information. So there should always be a link that people can get more information because a single script cannot tell the whole story. So that's yes. also very key when you're writing. And then most importantly, make the vital information appear as many times as, as possible if you can. For example, if I'm doing a, a, a program or maybe uh, a script, I'm writing a script for Mind Shift voiceover course with Tony Bayer and Colin Stecker. Uh, the most important things are, one, the link, why you need this, this voiceover course, um, who the voiceover course is for. But all those ones are important. But the most important thing is the information, where I can get more information. The number, if there's a website, the website. So if you're writing a script and you can accommodate, and if you can accommodate the number and the website and all this information twice, it's smart. That's a good script because, you know, it comes in twice and people can get it as many times as possible. So that, those are yes. some tips when you're writing a script for it to be productive. Because remember, when you write a script, you're not writing it for yourself. You're writing for someone. So if at the end of the day, your script cannot give the information, then it's a bad script. The script should be able to give the information and get uh, the necessary feedback. And the feedback is where you get the external link. I hope that answers your question, Tony. Uh, two, more, two more things, Zeni. Small things, small talk show before we end. How uh, the water is very important to the voice, right? Yeah. Keep very, very, very. Um, I know a lot of people can be tempted to do <clears throat> from time to time. Mm, exactly. That is so bad. So to stop thing, that, is, that is bad. It's, bad yeah. it's very, very bad. You can't do that. So, and then why you do that? Let me tell you why most people do that. You do that because you have been taking a lot of, you see, milk. Milk, you want to take tea, you put a lot of milk in it. And it's not good. Not that for your life. You could take it later. But before you go to use the mic, before you do a voiceover, before you sing, before you try to um, record a script, don't take milk. It would make you want to do <clears throat> later, and which is not good. No, water, I mean, water, water, everything water. related to milk things, like cheese, cheese like go to cheese. Absolutely. Yeah, Oily yeah because, why? Because this uh, make acids in the stomach. So this uh, right. and when you have acid in the stomach, it goes up and abdomen reflu ertija al mari. I'm explaining yes. for people in Arabic. Yes. Uh, sir, love your bass voice. Can I hear yeah. something in a very low, low and very bass voice? Right. <laughs> Go ahead. In the land of myth, at a time of magic, the destiny of a great kingdom rest on the shoulders of a young boy his name collins well that's one of them you know we could go that low we could go very very low you know it's just to make sure that we get the sound out and um yeah that's also a myth a lot of people think that you must have that kind of sound to be a good voiceover you know but i could actually train you how you can improve on your lower octave like you know no. yes Low. Yes. Yes. Now, let me tell you something, a very good secret that most people don't know. If you are um, a singer, if you can sing and you understand <laughs> the tone, yes, like Tony, you have an advantage to be a great voiceover artist because voiceover is also on key. You don't just talk. There's a key. You talk on key. People don't know. You know, you also yeah, deliver scripts. That's but not necessarily. 
all the time. Yes, yes. I, I'm one of them. I'm a teacher. I'm a vocal coach, yeah. but I don't yeah. find myself in voiceover. I find myself in art of voiceover ah. using my voice. But that's right. Yani, I don't find yeah. myself talking about documentaries or dubbing or everything. So that's why I'm, right. that, I'm saying that. I'm saying that. I'm saying that it's an advantage if you can sing. If you understand how to sing, it gives you an advantage exactly. as a voiceover artist. Because in voiceover, there is something they call singing. All right, yeah, singing exactly. Or, 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 timba, timba. I don't know if you know that in in the sound. That's what brings out the beauty uh, of the voice. Timba, timba, timba. Yeah, timba, timba. Absolutely. Yeah, timba, so, timba. 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 Yes. Uh, absolutely. So that that gives you an opportunity. Of course, in in voiceover, for example, if I want to tell you something like go get it go get it you know i i don't just say go get it i sing it the singing is go get it go get it and i'm singing yes so i mean that's more appealing the singing in voiceover is what makes voiceover appealing welcoming yeah you know i could you're so do... professional yeah i love I'm your sorry. way <laughs> of yeah. or explaining about voiceover. Yeah, I think you're, you're an artist. You love this. You love this world. <laughs> Thank you. So, 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 so that's, how, that's how it works. In, now. In two tips or three tips, how can I make my voice lower? Okay, one of the things is you have to, you know, you talked about speaking from here, from your belly, right? It's very yeah. important. You need to put more power from here to speak from here. Okay. So, so, Whenever you want to go low, deeper, you use some of this, your, your sound from here. So that way, you, you free up the, um, if you do more of speaking from your belly, you push more air, you push more air. It gives you, it gives you an advantage when you want to go low. Now, if you do vocal trainings, that, that's why I say it's important to sing. Let me tell you how I have some uh, uh, simple exercises I do for, for, if you want to go low, for example, I'll give you stuff. Sorry, I've been back and forth meetings here and there. So my voice needs some rest right now. But let me try and do this. It's like I do something like so I do that. Fantastic. So you know, like that, and I go. So you do that. There are different exercises you can do over time, and we see that it's, it's training you gradually. You push, you push, and then over time, your vocal cord will adjust to a setting sound. All right, that's how the sound. But then again, why do you need it if you could actually use software to fix it? So, um, yeah, there's the way you voice. That's why part of the trainings of voiceover is how you place your voice on the mic. All right. It's not uh, exactly. it's also mic technique. It's an experience. It's a full experience. Absolutely. Mic technique is very important. You're right. I could, uh, I could voice something very, very easily. And then the way the mic captures this, the, the voicing becomes very fantastic. And you're wondering what happened. You know, I put you there, you do your own, any other person you try, and it's not the same way. The techniques of voicing, you know when to do this Saturday. On, you know when to go up and come down as you're voicing. You know when to move away from the mic uh, so that you are voicing. How to defend the microphone, so, how to put the air, how to go, uh, to spread the air from my mouth. That's yes. right. I mean, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So there are different areas that we can improve on. And um, we sound better. The truth is, everybody listening to me right now has a great voice. If you're, if you're out there, you can talk. You have a great voice. What you need is Tony. What you need is Collins to help you hone your voice, to show you how you can bring out the best components of your voice, the elements of your voice. Every voice has something special in it, something very special that you need to discover and know how to use it. That's exactly what some of the things you learned from this training. And um, if I were you, man, I would register. Even me, I want to register. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Collins, uh, first of all, I want to thank you so much for this amazing talk show today on Instagram. And thanks for taking from your time. 
we will advertise this promotion on YouTube and on Instagram, so people can watch the uh, the the talk show again. And uh, l- l- the last thing, if you are interested in the voiceover and you want to learn the English voiceover, which is so different than the Arabic voiceover, I know it's different technique and different language. And by the way, it's different and it's totally different. Uh, you can register with us by calling the Mind Shift. The numbers are down in the description and in the pinned message. Uh, last thing, I. I Leave the advertisement for you in one minute, and before saying goodbye, and thank you so much. All right, for you. Advertise Every- the- All right, great. Everyone has got a great voice. What you do with yours is what matters. Now let's show you what you can do with your voice. Think about making great stuff out of your simple voice. Well, the opportunity is waiting for you right now. Simply register for the voice of a course with Tony Bayer and Collins Teke. Call the number plus 971-582-537586. One more time. Plus 971-582-537586. That's the number to call. Or you can simply visit the page on Instagram, MindShift. A-E on Instagram. Be a part of it. Don't miss it. I said it. You could tell the whole world. <laughs> yeah. So that, that, really, that's I enjoyed my, uh, my time with you. You have a beautiful and wonderful voice. Thank, thank you so you. much, Mr. Collins, and thank you for MindShift and Mr. Ala. Thank yeah. you for all the audience who are watching. Even yes, now, the I, time is, is yes. critical now, but we'll I, watch I it have, later on. I have a, I have a lot of people from Africa who are so joining. Uh, I've seen yes. a lot of people there saying hi. I can say yes. hi to all of you joining from Africa and from the UAE. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, let yeah, say that. Thank you so much, Mr. Collins. Bless you. Bless you too. Bye. <laughs> Hope to see you. So yeah, see bye. you next week in the show and Absolutely. in the workshop. Bye-bye. Absolutely. Right, bye. 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 Yeah.